Oh, we're doing. All right, we got Sharon Burke coming out for the world lightweight title. And he's representing K-Star in the main. This should be an incredible fight. We've got two of the absolute best fighters here on Battle Arena facing off in this cage. We have Chiron Burke, trains out of K-Star, one of the absolute best Thai boxing gyms in the world. Under Steve Logan, Damien Trainer, some of the absolute best strikers. You will at Steve Logan in his corner there in the blue hoodie. And then he is facing off and then Reese Teasdale, who's I think at nine different um, MMA fights. He's been on the IMAF, so representing Team UK in uh, mixed martial arts all over the world. And he's uh, fighting out of BST, representing Raymond Paul and Danny Batten over there. This is two of the best, well, two of, two, probably the best two amateur fighters in the country. One of them's going to go pro after this, I'm sure. Chris, in your opinion, what's the X factor for Sharon Burke? Striking. It's got to be the clinch work and the striking. It has to be. It will, uh, that's what should work for him. And the X factor the other way, though, is Reese and the... the uh, the grappling over there at BST. That's what they do so well. They get the takedown, they hold you down, they cause damage. They and never let you go. No. And that's, I mean, that's the slightly worrying thing maybe for this world title fight that will Reese Teasdale do the BST tradition, take you down, hold you down, win five rounds? Will Chiron be able to? Liam Bray never goes out of style, Chris. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it never went in style. <laughs> The terror himself, Reese Teasdale. Talk about someone that just improves and improves and improves. It's insane how much he was amazing when he started as well. But he had that kind of swagger. He was he loved yeah. being a fighter. He was at 66 kilos back in the day. He's gotten bigger. He's matured. He's thrown on muscle, and he's obviously mixing it up with that great team over there at Blood, Sweat, and Tears right here in Northampton. You know he's going to be bringing the crowd with him. So there's no heavyweight fights, Steve. And apparently there's a rumor backstage that Adas Hamrad couldn't do the medical because his heart rate was too high. He did a load of uh, Red Bull this morning, apparently. Really? Apparently. That's the, that's the well, word on the street. That's very important because you can go into cardiac arrest in a fight with the adrenaline dump and the heightened I was saying, I, did, I cornered someone on a boxing show many years ago, and it's sponsored by Rockstar Energy, and half the fighters were struggling to pass the medicals because their heart rates were so high. Because they sat there knocking back monster energy drinks. Folks, if you're going to do a cage fight, you will have enough adrenaline and energy. You will not be tired. Many things will happen, but that's not what you need. You do not need Red Bull or energy drinks. No. That's insane. Not. You'll have that adrenaline anyway. Look at Reese Teasdale. He used to come in and, he, like, one of the things when he first started fighting, he wasn't the most conditioned looking fighter. That's no longer an issue for Reese Teasdale. Absolutely shredded. And his hands are all the way down by his knees. He's got a very long range. And. Sharon Burke just looks like he was carved out of marble earlier today. Yeah. What a fight this is going to be, Steve. I'm so excited. So, Sharon Burke, it's just hard to get his record. He's fought on so many different shows and promotions and the tie boxing and mixing everything together. Oh, Reese Teasdale, bit of mean mugging to Sharon Burke. I, he's still not the kind of guy you're going to intimidate, I don't think. No, he's pacing it. Oh. The crew here in Northampton. Sometimes on the shows by their last few fights, the crowd size drops down. Not tonight. Everyone is here for this main event. It's going to be good. It's a packed house here tonight. Jack is bouncing in the seat in excitement. It's Reese Teasdale, Jack. You'll love this one. He loves it. Guns in the air. Ready to blaze. It is three five-minute rounds. Sorry. It is five three-minute rounds. Stand in the middle of the cage, Steve. This is intense. <laughs> 
nothing like the Kamehameha. I'm so excited, Steve. <laughs> we get the best seat in the house for this. Isn't life good? Shut up, Jake. Here we go. Reese Teasdale, representing BST, Chiron Burke, K Star. To the best gyms facing and off. And they are ready to go. You'd have to get chains to hold these gentlemen back. Here we go. Teasdale versus Burke. Who's going to sting first? Burke with a nice jab. Oh, good slip and left for Teasdale. Well, spinning already for Teasdale. Nice slip. He's got supreme confidence to his Teasdale. It's a good pop on uh, Sharon Burke's jab. Oh, he's knocked sideways by that. This is what Teasdale wants. Right, there he is, right in front of us, right in front of our booth here with a double under his body lock. This has got Burke to have been the game plan going into this fight for Teasdale. Burke doing well to block the entry for the hips with the shin. Teasdale mauling him up against the cage. Yeah, Teasdale. That strong head position. Got certainly a right underhook digging his left. This is where Burke doesn't want to be. Mm. Teasdale steps in, looks for the ankle pick. I'd like to hear a bit more advice coming from the K-Star corner. Because right there, Burke is kind of fighting like a tie boxer, not fighting like a wrestler, you know what I mean? Well, he's looking. Wrapping that arm. This is that can be good though. Let's we'll get some knees going. He's doing well to keep the frames in. Yeah. Oh, good foot Teased. stomp. Let's see a lot of those here on Battle Arena. You've got to use every weapon at your disposal. Sharon Burke being very patient. You can break a foot like that. Definitely. Oh, looking for a judo throw, Sharon Burke. Great pressure by Teasdale. Look at that. Legs away. Pressure in. Leaning on Chiron Burke. Hand under the chin. Chiron Burke doing well to try to offset Teasdale's head. Yeah, that strong position. Wants to do that and then drive his own head in. Fight for that head position. Trying to make some space. Teasdale's been able to control this position for over a minute now. Yeah, Burke's done a good while defending this, but... It's really hard to get that ankle pick without the pressure. Oh. And drives into the man after that. After that. Burke exploded trying to get off the cage. Ended up on the bottom. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Reese Teasdale give it a look. <laughs> Reese Teasdale, this is where he wants to be. This was the game plan for Reese Teasdale. Get the takedown. Hold down Shara but do some damage. Gives him a <laughs> wink. That's nice. Love the gamesmanship from Reese Teasdale. Absolutely love it. Meanwhile, Burke is looking at stand up, but wondering if Teasdale can is watching his time to be able to land some big strikes. I think Teasdale's jiu-jitsu is so good. It's going to be so hard to tap from this position for Burke. And of course, I don't really think it's Sharon Burke's game. He wants to be back on his feet, getting behind those jabs again. 12 seconds left in round number one. Cardi is going to be a big factor in this five-round fight. Teasdale not even breaking away now with 10 seconds left to land some punches. Settles on top, gets his takedown, helps his opponent in the feet. Or at least tries to. <laughs> now we go. To be a fly on the wall in the K-Star corner would be interesting. Well, we're right here anyway. Yeah. Jack, listen to what they're saying. <laughs> All right, we're going to get some reports in a moment. Yeah, so we've got uh, Raymond Paul and uh, Danny Batten over in the BST corner. And Jordan Vucenich. Jordan Vucenich will be great advice. You know, he's been there in the with Reese Teasdale in the gym, I'm sure, doing hundreds of rounds of sparring and training. Would have been the one, one of the guys putting some pressure on him. Uh, it's got to be a tough day when Jordan Vucenich is your sparring partner, isn't it? Mm. He's a massive for a featherweight. He's so big. He's a featherweight. Wow. That's impressive. The Cage Warriors champion over there. Oh God, here. here we go. Round two of this European oh, world title fight. World title fight. That's why it's five three-minute rounds, Chris. Here we go. K-star. We know that Sharon Burke is going to try and stay on his feet. Get behind the jab, throw some strikes. That's going to be the game plan here. Reese Teasdale, I think there'll be a sense of rinse and repeat. Sharon Burke's off. Look forward. There you go. Chiron gets a smile back from Teasdale. Oh, he's throwing big as Chiron Burke. Nice mm. leg kicks. This is what he, where he wants to be. Look at this. This is the, the K-Star tie boxing. It's 
Steve Logan, Damien Trainer, all the amazing coaches over there. Teasdale maybe trying to invite a counter there. Had his hands quite low. Burke is ripping these kicks. There's the body kick again. Oh, nice question mark kick. Nice leg kick. That could really change the course of this fight if he can Burke keep Burke is getting a lot in. of kicks off. He goes down to the calf there. Yeah, and Teasdale's not checking them. Teasdale's powering them forward. He's going to shoot. That's fairly predictable. Sean Burke's got double unders, though. He does. I'm just not sure this is his game. Will he be able to separate, get back to the striking? He's got to pull Teasdale up and then drive off the cage with his feet, get his feet behind him. Yeah, He's got to do that almost in one motion, up and then out. Chiron is definitely dangerous in those strike exchanges. Landed some big kicks. Looks maybe the slightly ahead of the two in those exchanges, but this is where it's going the other way. There you go. Teasdale's got his hands together. He takes him down. Now he's got more time to work now. A minute and a half on top. Yeah, I think we're going to see Reese trying to hold him down here. Got a little bit of ground and pound going. Make sure he wins the round. And that's intelligent. To pull those legs away, wrap them up. I say Khabib start. I, mean, I think I feel like Randy Couture was the original guy for that, crossing the feet. Couture loved that. He also <laughs> loved sitting back in the half garden. Yeah, meeting you with strikes. Yeah, it's it's a hard position to stand up from half there. Teasdale now trying to work his way maybe to the back. He's yeah. got a strong body lock here. Well, Sharon gets back to the feet, does a good job doing it. Sharon Burke's so strong as well. They're really, this is a, definitely a meeting of equals here. Yeah, crazy physicality for Sharon Burke. Oh, look at this, look at this. Teasdale is going to throw his hook in. Like You're going to look for a body drag or stood up. Oh, I love that. Reese Teasdale, that is. See if he can get a hand away. 19 seconds, though. It's going to be so hard to do anything with it. Well, he's kind of under the chin, but 10 seconds. Really hard to get his hands together. Yeah, he's not going to get that with the five seconds to go. Oh, so close there. Finishing position there from Reese Teasdale. <laughs> wow. Eating a bunch of kicks at the very beginning of that round, and then he finishes on the back in arguably a you know, finishing position, you give that an extra 20 seconds, 30 seconds, we don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, the striking was pretty close. Maybe a slight, slight edge to Chiron, but very, very, very close. And then the, the grappling was all Reese Teasdale. Again, you can just see a big disparity in skill level in that aspect of the game. But we're going to be back to our feet for the third round with Chiron Burke back on his feet. Landing more thunderous leg kicks, I am sure. Getting that advice from Steve Logan there in the corner. We're talking to him about using his range, staying on his feet. Control in the middle of the cage could be huge for him. Doesn't want to ever have his back hit that cage because Reese is going to rush in and close the distance if he does. Here we go. Round three of five. This is our main event here at Ballerina. Are you excited, Jack? Very. You heard that. There's a main first. event for a reason. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Reece He's running Teasdale. forward with the knee. He's having some fun now. He's got to be careful. Siren Burke's got There's the power. shot. There's the shot. Siren Burke. A bit naughty grabbing the cage, but that's the game. I don't. I didn't see his fingers come through the cage. I saw no. him push off. And I was right here. This is an issue. Siren, the last round, at least he got a lot of the round. He managed to get some striking going, but Reese has shot so early in this third one. And taking him down. Boom. Again. Pressing him in. Third round. Two minutes, 20 seconds left. And we're on the floor again where Reese Teasdale is just a shark in the water. Yeah, the disparity in skill level is obvious on the ground. I would have liked to see a bit more striking. I'm quite enjoying Chiron striking. Very dynamic and technical. Maybe that was Reese's whole game. Draw him in, draw him in with the, you know some of those wild striking exchanges and then get a hold of him. Nice Teasdale. 
Got a nice underhook. Trying to do some damage. Talking to the crowd. I'd like to do Reese. I'd like to see Reese Teasdale try to drive that right knee and right knee upwards. He's got to be frustrating for Sharon Burke. All the trash talking, but Reese is just so good. It's just his, you know, his hip placement, his pressure, his balance, his underhook. Like the fact that that right underhook is just everything for him right now. It's just allowing him I to like control the position. Like that cheeky little left knee that he just sent into the ribs, of Sharon. I'd like to hear the corner of Sharon Burke calling for that left underhook. That could make such a difference here, but now he's I'm just holding sure on. He's not. going to hold himself in a position where Reese Teasdale can bring that knee up and start moving himself into mount. It's a minute left on the clock in this third round. Yeah, the, the corner of Reese Te of uh, Sharon Burke is saying, "Come on, get your knee shield in," but it's very hard without the the underhook. You fight for the underhook first, then you fight for the knee shield. Gives you the space, gives you the movement to get on the side. Reese Teasdale as well was doing really well with the shoulder strikes just to bother Sharon Burke. Yeah. Oh, good work by Sharon Burke there to get to butterfly guard. Sharon Burke's corner, asking him to kick him away. It's just hard when you've got someone as good as Reese Teasdale. 25 seconds to go in round number three of this five round fight. This has got to improve the confidence of Teasdale now. Three rounds, each one of them going to be finishing with with Reese Teasdale in a dominant position. As we come to the very final seconds of the round of round three, Teasdale on top, Sharon Burke down three rounds. So there's a replay of that takedown. We have to lift him high into the sky. Bring him right down with a thunderous, thunderous takedown. Yeah. Will Reese Teasdale. All right. So sometimes I find BST are a little bit boring. I'm not finding that with Reese Teasdale today. He is looking to improve position all the time. He's being aggressive. I don't think uh, Reese Teasdale <laughs> even knows the word boring. Definitely not. He's just improving position all the time. He is not just trying to win rounds. He's having fun in there. And like. The fact, you know, he probably won the first two rounds pretty comfortably. He came out from round three, the running attack. He, like, took some risks. And it, his corner telling him off for it. But <laughs> I'd like to see him do it again. Oh, he's loving it, is Reese Teasdale. But every time Sharon Burke is back on his feet, he is dangerous. And here we go, back on the feet again. Yeah. There's a warning there. He's going to throw some big shots, I think. He's going to open strong. Oh, <laughs> This is, now it's the game plan. Reese Teasdale, why not? That was eight seconds to take this fight to the floor. And for the next two and two minutes, 52 seconds, he's probably gonna be on top. This is better from Sharon Burke, posting on the head, looking to get his feet back under him. Teasdale doesn't mind this this position. It looks like a bit of a guillotine there, but there's the position is completely out. There's no connection of Burke's hips to Teasdale. Teasdale's just waiting to bring his head up, probably land a couple shots. Okay, Star Crew, I'd love to come and teach him Jiu-Jitsu at any of your gyms. <laughs> Someone and some wrestling, some people as good as Chiron, but just get them back to their feet, back to doing what they do so well. Yeah, give them a strong, sprawling game. Yeah. I base all my wrestling uh, defense off of hand, head, hips approach. You know that there's three little ranges there for you to work with. And that's the thing, Sharon's having some good moments. He's, he's getting angles, he's getting back to guard. It's just, once he gets there, he's kind of out of ideas. He needs to get feet to the hips, make space. Maybe even, it's, you know, throw up submissions from the bottom. Even if he's not a submission artist, it's going to mean Reese has got to make space to defend them and he can start look, using that to try and get back to his feet. Oh, Teasdale looking to maybe trap that arm underneath. Yeah, he beautiful does. dagger steady hand trap. <laughs> yeah, apparently the, the corners do a little bit of trash talking. That's fun. Reese Teasdale holding the wrist, using that dagger steady hand trap to keep 
try and uh, pin to the mat and do some damage. He's seeing his punches. There's some words going on with the ref. Yeah, is he holding the gloves maybe? You can kind of hold the gloves a bit. Depends on the, yeah. That was a nice shot there from Teasdale. Sneaks in. Just phenomenal work by Teasdale, really. Sticking to the game plan. Aggressive. The shoulder strikes as well are very bothersome, but they just keep him active, right? They're just allowing him to stay active. Sharon, but looking to his corner for advice. There he's we go. The bombs of Teasdale now come, now looking to sneak through. He's just having issues with the level of grappling of Reese Teasdale. The thing is, there are opportunities there for throwing up triangles, getting angles, but Sharon doesn't seem to quite have the skill level. <laughs> Round. Wow. Round five. One more round to go, is it? Was that four? That was four. That was four. And that's four Teasdale. Go, he shot, look, eight seconds before it hit the floor. Bounces him into the cage, brings the hips back, and Three, just sucks him right in. Two, one, boom, on the floor. Seven seconds. Seven four. seconds. I apologize. Yeah, Reese, I'm not fully slow. Nope. Faster than a speeding bullet. All right, but we have to start round five on the feet. The always dangerous Sharon Burke. Reese Teasdale, three minutes away from a world title. My word, could he do it? Is it his night? Is this the Reese Teasdale show? Oh, Teasdale marches over to the side because he thinks that they're... Look at how they, they've soaked him. They've soaked Sharon Burke. They've soaked him. Sharon Burke is so fast standing up. Dangerous everywhere. A lightning fast jab and kicks that just come. Yeah, Sharon Burke is not out of this fight. He's definitely four rounds down, but he's going to throw everything in his right hands now. He kicks as well, just like that. He's a dangerous striker. I don't know if Teasdale said to himself at the beginning of this round, I'm four rounds up. Let's see if I can strike with this fella. Like that. Spinning hook kicks. Yeah, and, yeah. We we'll talk about this dangerous striking Sharon, but East Teasdale can hang with him striking, no problem. But this is what he wants. He's back on those hips. I think. Close the distance. And this is great because he's been going for for those double, double controls the whole time. He hasn't been going for single legs or chest pressuring out trying to run the pipe. He's been going for secure positions that are going to lead you down to the down to the mat. Stomps the foot again, brings it back to round two. Oh, back to stomps. Yeah, one minute 30 of round number five in this world title fight. It's got to be four rounds. Teasdale. Is that crazy the decision start? I'm not a fan of foot stomps, but it's definitely working. Oh, Burke doesn't like it. He's still on the apron there, Steve. There's definitely some swelling on that left foot of Burke. You can see it from here. You got so many tiny bones in your foot. There's a minute left here. Is Teasdale going to do the same as he's done in every single round and get it to the mat, dominate the position, control, and finish? He's got such an emphatic style. Is Teasdale just, at this point, is he just counting down the clock? 45 seconds. Can Sharon Burke pull something crazy out of the bag? 
with 30 seconds to go in this world title fight. Time is dwindling, Chris, that's for sure. And we that's haven't seen Sharon Burke, be, even, even in the striking, be able to get something off that was really going to change the change the nature of the game. Yeah, definitely, he's dangerous in the striking, but he's got power, but... Yeah, Reese Teasdale also dangerous everywhere. Teasdale talked to his corner there. A huge slam there. What a way to finish the fight for if Teasdale. If there was any doubt, this was the Reese Teasdale show. I believe that world championship belt will be wrapped around his waist momentarily. Brilliant performance by Reese Teasdale. Won every round. Absolutely dominant performance. Incredible. And such an entertaining fighter. Giving his coach, Raymond Paul, all the love. Good show of sportsmanship. Now we wait with bated breath to the official decision. Are you not sure how this is going to go, Steve? <laughs> I think even these judges could get this one. I don't know how it should go. <laughs> oh, they're still talking. Yeah, still a little bit of uh, animosity. there what it means to Reese Teasdale there he's worked very hard for this he stayed consistent it's a very emotional moment for him Chris Simpson with the winner, Reese Teasdale. Fantastic performance, a game plan that looked like it was executed flawlessly. And one thing that really resonated with me was how much you listen to your corner, because you see a lot of the time, people don't listen to their corner and they start to get frustrated, but you did that perfectly. How were you feeling after that victory? Man, 
people don't understand what this means to me. Uh, I've been fighting since uh, about 15 and uh, it used to be a lot of fun, like I said in my post. But now I do it for my family and I don't want people to just think I'm a young man and try and act like a gangster, like a knight. Even though they're my favourite fighters, like a Diaz. I do this for my family now. I want to just keep improving, get better and uh, earn some money, get sold, I can turn pro, you know. Uh, this is the most I've been paid for a fight, so I just want to thank Ballerina for an opportunity. Um, I know I'm running, but I coach now as well, so I'm going to show this, show this belt to my kids and probably on Monday. And it just means the world, man. You can yeah. see I'm upset right now. Just, I'm over the moon. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, it looked like it was a great, great game plan. Was it always the game plan to come in there and to neutralise that threat, use your strength and get him to the floor and work on him on top? Fuck no. Um, <laughs> I just got re-ranged with my opponent. Uh, God knows when it was, so I've got a lot of adrenaline. But I didn't have much time to study and I don't like studying too much. Uh, I knew he was a striker, but I know I could fucking strike as well as much as I like to wrestle. So I knew I could do whatever I want to. We saw three spinning back kicks. I almost choked him out. Uh, I'm, no, I'm a well-rounded fighter, so keep watching me. Keep thinking I'm just a grappler. You might get fucking head kicked one day. Well, I'll let you get off to your corner. He's fantastic. Anything else you'd like to say or is that, or is that just everything? I'll see you all in the gym on Monday. Asan, I also have a belt now too, lad. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, fella. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You Cheers, guys. Thank you.